special. Now, um, I'm not going to call Pat backwards, but he did things a little differently than a lot of people normally do things. Like, for instance, normally you get the band together and you learn a bunch of songs and then eventually you cut a CD, go out on tour and stuff and do the thing or whatever. But, um, Pat, well, he, um, had a bunch of songs, I guess. Didn't really have a band. So he just decided he would go into the studio and record all the parts himself. Most of the parts most, himself. Most not I think the banjo and the drums were uh, laid over by other folks, but pretty much uh, what you hear on that CD over there is, uh, is Pat. So therefore, when uh, you call him the Pat Beasley Band, it's really true. It was <laughs> Pat Beasley Band on the CD there. So, um, tell us a little bit about, you know, how it was, like, you, you, you've got to put a band together now and trying to get a, find guys to learn all your parts and stuff. How'd that go? Yeah, well, yeah, the reason I did the CD myself was because at the time I didn't know any musicians and I didn't have any musicians that would do it for free, so. <laughs> um, got the album together and then all of a sudden I had a band just through some mutual friends, handed it out, found some people that really were interested, handed it to these guys. They were really great about learning my tunes and being really excited about it, so. So together you've only been a band like three or four months. Yeah, say right? three or four months. Three. Three. Three months. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still very young. Okay, still out months. on that. Are they the band yet? That's <laughs> there's still kind of an internship in there. <laughs> well, we had one gentleman asked us earlier when we were sound checking. He's like, "Are well, you guys a rock band or an old timey band?" We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to figure all that out. Um, uh, the first song y'all did back down to Georgia, that's the name of the CD, and it is available over there at the merch table after the show. Um, we decided probably Facebook is the best place yeah. um, to uh, keep an eye out on the band. You can go to the website patbeasleyband.com. Um, that's there's, the easiest to There's remember. a picture and a quote, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't had time to sit down and really do the website. It's inspirational, but it was inspirational, I'll suggest checking it out. <laughs> it certainly uh, inspires you to start looking for that Facebook icon that you can click on yes. there and actually go to, to his page and find out what's happening. Uh, you can keep up to date with upcoming events and, and such there on his Facebook pa page. Shaking howdy with them after the show, and they're gonna feel welcome. This is their first time with us here. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna back out of the way. We're gonna get some more music here from the Pat Beasley Band on the WDBX Blue Plate Special. Got any bank robbers up there, buddy, Jeff? <laughs> you know, one of the best things my dad ever taught me was uh, don't rob a bank. So I decided I'd write a song about that. It's called Robin Banks. <laughs> 